Armando Moura. And I'm now heading back to my place now, Islanders. It's been pretty good. I've got to sing three songs. Islanders have obviously gone ahead and not provided you island life, unfortunately. Fixes up the extreme damage that my hair has been receiving lately. My hair. Hi, Islanders. It's the next day here. Made an album. Now, you're not going to find this anywhere. That's my own album. Yeah, that album is uh, specially made, so unfortunately, yeah. I'm not making copies for anybody. That's actually specifically for somebody that will be receiving it tomorrow. So yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you're not... No one's going to be receiving a copy of that other than the person. Um, yeah, because it's a collaboration. Um... That me and him, are, that me and this other person worked on. So it's just going to be specifically for us only. Not for any of you Islanders. Tomorrow though, I will be providing something for you Islanders. Because we're going to be heading over to Ripley's, believe it or not, at Surface Paradise tomorrow. That's what I have been told. <laughs> and unfortunately there's more awful news as well Islanders. The um, the rave that we were, that I had planned for Friday night has been unfortunately cancelled, so I've been refunded. Um, been refunded for that. Um, of course, which is unfortunate news, but of course with that um, sufficed, of course. Um, yeah, and that's. And that's all the news that I do have at this moment. Can you go home? Stop bothering me. There's people in their cars. They keep going. They keep driving past and bothering the hell out of me. Don't know why. They just do. Um, yeah, that's it. So what I have to do tomorrow is obviously get up in the morning and take a shower. Um, make sure just. Make sure they get everything done so that we can actually prepare for the outing straight away. Because I want to because I want to be on that ferry tomorrow. So that we can actually do this Ripley's Believe It or Not episode tomorrow. No, we're not going to be doing the museum thing again. It's actually going to be the uh, cinema experience. That's what I have planned for tomorrow. That's what we actually all had planned for tomorrow at this point here. Of course. Go home! There we go. Problem fixed. Close the window. Don't want to hear those cars blowing past all the time. Okay. So as I've been saying, Islanders, um, yeah, so we're going to be heading over to the Surface Paradise tomorrow. In hopes of getting that, uh, of getting that cinema experience, the seven D experience, and no, you're not going to find anything like this anywhere else. Ripley's, believe it or not, it's probably the only one that I've ever heard of that has a cinema seven D experience. You will not find a seventh dimension experience anywhere else. Anywhere else in island life, you will not find it. All right, because there have been a lot of things that have been going on around here lately. But the, the, the seventh dimension experience, you will not find that anywhere else, okay? This is the first time in our life that I'm obviously going to be experiencing this. Maybe I might give you Islanders a bit of feedback on it as well, in case if you Islanders decide to do this yourselves, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, but what you just saw there in the early clip right there, the first nine seconds of it or so, um, after the title and everything. That is an album that I'm handing over to somebody um, who actually worked, who actually helped me to make the album possible. Okay, so yeah, you will not find that album anywhere else and you will not be able to have, and you will not be able to own a copy of it because I am only going to make this copy for one person and that's it. Okay, so don't be asking for that album, all right? It's a specially made album that was made by me and him. And I decided I'd give him a copy, and that's it. Right? And then we will speak no more of it. 
Um, yeah, so the reason that we didn't really have any footage today is, well, because I didn't really set out for, uh, for, any, for the unexpected turn of events that happened. Um, I actually had a different, um, I did have a different sport worker today, um, rather than what I was supposed to have, an actual reality, so... Because, because the sport worker I had today was obviously in fear of losing a shift, I reassigned her with me, luckily. <laughs> and she obviously happily accepted. Peace to everybody and enjoy the sunshine. Bye! Which I would have accepted. Had they have told me beforehand, which they didn't, they only told me just before she arrived. Not on. <laughs> but anyways, oh, the extended family are not that awful. Come on, they, they, they provided me with some, with some notice at least, but probably, probably a bit more notice more in advance, I think, probably would have worked out better. I, I know that emergencies can arise in such a situation, but you could at least give me some sort of more prior notice. Um, yeah, and that's, that's all I can say right now. Um, I'm probably going to get on with some other things, but I will definitely... Uh, catch up with all of you Islanders a little later on, see what's happening. Okay Islanders, much later on the night and uh, that's it. That's it for tonight, that's it for today. However you want to call it. You know, I mean, it will be time for me to head to bed so I can get up in the morning and, you know, do all the usual, take a shower, do everything that needs to be done so that I'm all ready for the outing to surface paradise, because we're going to take the 9.30 ferry uh, out of here. Alright, uh, like, we got to be, like, we got to get out of here quick smart, because otherwise, otherwise we won't be able to make it to that. <clears throat> otherwise we'll have to delay the, uh, the, uh, the experience to another day. <clears throat> I'm not a morning person, Islanders, I'm a night owl. So, yeah, that's going to be very tricky for me to get up in the morning. Okay, yeah, because it's very difficult for me to get up in the morning, especially because I'm a night owl, and I always have been. Clearly from my mum's side of the family. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm just a night owl through and through. Everyone, everyone that obviously knows me all that well would obviously know that already. Okay, even I know that myself, which is, well, it, it has its benefits, it has its benefits. If you live in an area where there's stores open 24 hours a day, but of course you're not going to find a lot of stores around here that open 24 hours a day anyway. And not on Russell either, what a shame. Thanks for watching this episode of Island Life, May 2023. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you Islanders in the next episode tomorrow. Bye-bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.